Good morning, welcome to Morning View. This is Kim Watson speaking on Monday the 27th of July. Okay, looking at the euro dollar first, and we've seen some signs of some uh, dollar weakness here through the markets a little bit this morning. The euro's pushing up, just broken its uh, daily 21, just as I was starting to record here. Uh, pushing up quite strong at the moment. One thing, I mean, is what it has done is put higher lows in, and it's... Uh, Got to look like it may turn from this sort of area. This is all sort of indicated from the bounce off the lows there, which has uh, really seen some follow through and continued again. At this moment, it's just running into its uh, four, oh, this daily, sorry, R2. R um, it could put the sty sty uh, stiflers on it. It's uh, got an untouched daily pivot and the weekly pivot's below. So, any reversals that we see here, any, I mean, it's a bit overbought at these levels. Um, may at least break down towards that daily pivot, uh, but at the moment looking pretty strong. So it's, uh, it's a hard one to go against it. If it does continue in this rally, well, we could see it running up towards its daily 50, its 4 alley 200 sort of area, uh, and maybe beyond. At the moment, as I say, it's looking quite bullish, but uh, we can see markets change at this sort of time. Of okay, looking at the pound dollar. Uh, Friday, uh, Thursday we saw the uh, bearish engulfing, so I'll follow through with that on Friday, but seeing a bit of a bounce at the moment, back up towards the weekly pivot at the moment. It's not co totally convincing uh, overall in its moves, but we'll see what happens. It's early, it's putting at the moment, it's putting a pivot swing in, but uh, obviously the day's not finished yet, and it's just coming up to its 4 out of the 21. Well, as I said, it could push in to, through to that uh, daily uh, weekly pivot. Uh, if it does well, it's in the hourly perspective, it's sort of confirming in higher lows. Um, has got an untouched daily period below 155, which could see it uh, come back towards that at some point. Uh, but the moment erring towards it's, it's just broken its highs here, so it's erring towards the upside. As I say, we've seen this dollar weakness uh, running through the markets. No significant news really in any of these markets through to until well, 9 o'clock with the German IFO business climate. It's not a big mover for the euro, but we have got, excuse me, core durable goods at 1.30 this afternoon, so maybe we'll see some volatility around that news, but uh, that in itself is quite volatile news. Okay, looking at dollar yen, that's coming off. It's heading down towards this uh, monthly pivot at this moment. It could well run through to the daily 50, daily 21 sort of uh, zone. Uh, it looks like it's uh, heading for that at the moment. So again, some strengthening going on here. It's caught its daily pivot already. <sighs> just looking, it's again, it's a bit oversold at these levels. It's a fractional divergence as we're just running into slightly lower, lower low here. Um, but we'll see what happens. It's a, it's a hard one to uh, do anything apart from looking at this sort of dollar strength at the moment in a sense. Although there are areas throughout all these markets where we've got untouched. Uh, pivots um, particularly the weekly ones which uh, again with the Aussie well that's above us so that's fine so that would uh, fall in nicely for uh, continued uh, 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 dollar weakness so from the daily perspective on Friday we broke the ultimate lows there six years lows hit and continues through that zone seeing a bit of a bounce from the uh, market at the moment uh, looking at the 60 minute here We've sort of uh, it plateaued out on Friday there, running into the the daily S3 area. It sort of bounced through from that. We now have seen it run through, hit the daily pivot. As I say, at the moment it looks like it could push on towards that uh, um, up towards the uh, weekly pivot. And there's the 50 MA there as well, the alley 50. These are all sort of targets where we could see uh, the market pushing up. So as I said, news-wise today, not a lot out. Uh, so it's. Uh, one of those days where we may catch a bit of upside, but uh, they're, they're, with them moving so quick in the morning, there are chances of some reversals throughout these markets as well. So watching out in case it just reverses. That's it for me. Have a great one. Bye for now.